here with uh, Eleanor Kripper at uh, the brand new exhibition for Paula Rago, which is open today at Tate Britain. It's so very colourful and bright and beautiful in here. Yeah, absolutely. We have uh, 60 years of incredibly brilliant visual thinking. Uh, really, it's different waves of practice moving one into the next and covering her entire career. Um, and her career, which largely kind of started in London. She moved over here when she was only 16 to kind of finish her work as an aspiring artist. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. She initially came to study in a finishing school. Her father was very keen for her to leave Portugal. When they started an over dictator, she was very much shaping a particular way of life. Uh, and he wanted their daughter to grow up in a liberal country. He had himself worked in the UK and very much felt this was the country where he wanted her daughter to grow up. Within a year studying in Kent, in this finishing school, she's determined to go on and study art. And she enrolls at this lady when she's still very young, only 17. And she gets along, she's very close with her father. Um, her mother was an interior designer, and I guess she sort of picked up bits of both the characteristics to, to mould her into the artist that she is. Yeah, absolutely. Her mother actually started uh, painting and, yeah, she said she was very interested in interiors as well. Uh, but mostly she was an only child and she spent her entire childhood often being on her own and drawing and producing work from a very early age. And so she was very clear she, since she was a child that she wanted to become an artist. In a way, she's always also been interested in, in um, storytelling. Mm -hmm. And you can see the love of stories in her work. She says, all my pictures start from a story. And in a way, if you know the stories, you might get the picture better, but you don't necessarily need to know it inside out. It's most that feeling that you are in a journey. There, there is a backstory. There are some mysteries to discover. And they are truly pictures that one wants to explore and delve in and find easier way around. Sounds like you've had some fun putting this together. Absolutely, it's been absolutely exciting. Paula is now 86. It's a fantastic time uh, to do the show. She has not lost at all her wit and uh, her uh, warmth and charm. And it's been really wonderful to work on the exhibition. Um, I've read a couple of quotes that she's, she's been redefining figurative art. Absolutely. I think if you walk through, you cannot not see how she has completely mixed what is a more realist tradition of representing the world with a very, a world of imagination and fantasy which are merged together. And what she does, she's telling us stories about the outer world and what happens out there, but it's all from a very personal perspective where she inserts an inner journey, there are dreams, there are fears, and all these comes together in these incredibly powerful images. And the other very important thing she does, you know, traditionally there are very few stories of women or women represented from a female perspective. And this is really what she completely revolutionized art uh, in. Uh, she represent women as powerful, physically strong. They're not idealized. They're not there to cater for the male gaze. And they are stories about their experiences in the home, in the domestic spheres, and in the way they interact with one another. As we head then into the 90s and noughties, uh, large pastel single female figures, is, is that's, that's the theme that we're going to see? Absolutely. In 94, Paula very much begins electing pastel as her favourite medium. She has spoken about how pastel is much more direct. You're not holding a brush, and you're much closer to the paper. There is something which is much more direct and tactile in the way you layer, different colors of pastel and then you can also scratch through with other pencils or pastels and you now we create this layered work she becomes a extraordinary technically and i think if you look at the works they're just mesmerized purely from a technical and formal perspective has she been has she seen any of the show has she seen like a like a visual walkthrough has she popped she down she's come she's come and she yeah she's very pleased well, congratulations. You should be very pleased as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure. I am Elena Kripa, curator of modern contemporary British art at Ted Britain, and you're listening to Oxon Radio.